Hey, everybody. This is Chris DiFurio with Keys to the Shop. Welcome to another edition of Shift Break. Uh, today's episode is brought to you by the Ground Control Cyclops Brewer from Voga Coffee over at vogacoffee.com. Um, this truly is one of the best pieces of equipment that you could own if you want to elevate your batch brew uh, above even your best pour-over coffee and do it at scale. This machine taps into the potential of your coffee like you've never seen. It's unbelievable the kind of control this gives you over such a wide range of flavors in your coffee. It is a winner of the SCA's Best New Product Award and is used by some of the best operators out there. So I would encourage you, if you really want to set your shop apart, elevate your batch brew coffee and visually engage your guests at the same time, then you need the Ground Control Cyclops Brewer in your shop. To find out more information, go to vogacoffee.com. That's V-O-G-A coffee.com. Today's episode is also brought to you by the amazing folks over at Barazza. Barazza designs precision burr grinders with a small footprint, perfect for both home and commercial environments. They provide quality, innovative grinders that their customers will find easy to use, reliable. And over the years, Barazza has become one of the most trusted, highly recommended, innovative coffee grinder businesses in the world. I truly believe that. And they're really serious about their coffee, and they're really serious about you making great coffee and making it simple to make great coffee with awesome equipment. So um, I would encourage you to go check them out over at barazza.com. There is a grinder that fits your needs. There's a grinder that fits your customer's needs. And you know, right along with that quality grinder, you're going to get also amazing service because their goal is to make their customers feel cared for. It's central to all they do. It really shows with their products. So go visit them over at barazza.com. Okay, everyone. So I am wanting to share with you a few things that have been on my mind. And, you know, of course, one of the things that has been on my mind of this last few weeks has been the crisis. And now that it's been a few weeks that we've been kind of, I don't want to say settling into the new normal, because uh, every day we're trying to think of what's going to happen next, what's going to happen next. But there are rhythms emerging from this. Uh, if you're doing curbside, if you're doing uh, walk-up or delivery, the rhythms start to develop and you you come to expect certain things the way that you uh, did with the normal open shift or the normal uh, closing shift. Uh, the daily business starts to be, look uh, the same, right? You come in at a different hour now, maybe you do different tasks, but as time goes on, we start to get used to it. And in this time, I think w there are some things that we need to still stay vigilant about. And one of those things is our standards in specialty coffee. This is something where, don't get me wrong, now I'm not saying that you're going to be dropping your standards, but in the midst of an environment where everybody is giving grace to each other, um, well, you know, almost everybody, but, you know, um, it's the dominant narrative to give grace to everybody and everyone's being nice, everyone's tipping. So succeeding a little seems like succeeding a lot. But when it comes to the quality of our drinks, when it comes to the quality of our service and our, um, you know, how we care for the environment that we're working in, with all of that, I think it's easy to let ourselves off the hook because we're basically frying bigger fish. Um, and this is especially true because uh, we've got people working the bar that haven't worked the bar in a long time. If you don't have any hourly employees left, for example, you might have some salaried staff that haven't worked that many bar hours before. Um, you might have people from the office trying to run register. Everyone's learning something new. And the customers who are coming in, you know, they're going to extend grace to you because this is a crazy time. Of course, they're going to extend grace to you. Now, how much grace should we extend to ourselves and for how long? That's a really good question. Um, we should still hold ourselves to a very high standard when it comes to how we're running things in the business. Um, and specifically when it comes to cleanliness and not just sanitation, but the way that we care for the bar when we're closing it down, the way that we 
um, serve people too is super important that we are amping up the hospitality as we are in a different context. It can be easy to excuse ourselves from from some of our old standards because it, it wasn't really in our mind. We were just thinking about survival. But as time goes on, if we really want our customers to experience some more normalcy, we're going to make sure that the conversation around uh, cleanliness of the bar, uh, the conversation around service standards, and the, the conversation around uh, quality of the drinks is still happening. Qu- conversations about survival and what we're going to do and how we're pivoting and creating systems to support this new way of being, those are happening. We see that all over the place. And you hear that in stories that I share on the show as well. But the conversations about quality, about cleanliness, and about hospitality, just this is consider it um, a reminder that those things are still super important. And a lot of it is what helps your customers choose you as their coffee shop, especially that service experience, especially that quality. So there could be no better way to really show our customers that normalcy and to hold ourselves to that standard in the midst of this hard time is going to be a challenge. You almost don't want to mention it because you think, well, I hate to mention that this drink is underfilled or I don't want to get down on the baristas about how, um, you know, that clothes looked last night when it was just like, you know, I don't know. There, there's a lot of things that we could be telling ourselves we don't want to have conversations about because they seem nitpicky. There are ways that you can go about bringing it up that don't really make you seem nitpicky. It really rally people behind the idea that this is maybe in a way to establish our own normalcy. Like we're still who we were before. We're still going to hold ourselves to the same standards even better now, Um, especially when we're fighting for the survival of our business. To go above and beyond is a super great move. Um, So this is just an episode to say let's keep having those conversations and managing and coaching the details um, beyond the survival, beyond the pivoting and into the work itself. That still matters. It's going to matter. It matters now, and it's going to matter afterwards as well. Your customers are going to thank you for it. And I think we'll avoid picking up bad habits. um, And, you know, we'll thank ourselves for holding ourselves to high standards afterwards too, because it'll just develop in us more resiliency. And uh, yeah, so... That's all I have to share today. I hope that it's helpful. Keep having those conversations. I hope the best for all of you out there. Thank you so much for joining me on the show. And I will see you here next week for another edition of Shift Break from Keys to the Shop.